Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we're going to be playing a game on the Lost Cavern, the new map that is currently available. Alright, so since we're playing Aram, I secretly hope that we are going to get something good. Let's hope we get something awesome. But either way, the Lost Cavern is a map that is specifically made for custom maps. It's not something that you will be seeing like on the ladder or like, you know, when you're playing a quick match, you will not see this map pop up. It's basically only something you can join with friends or like in a custom map uh, just because it's very special. We'll go over why that is in just a second. Looks like we actually got Sylvanas. That is a great, great, great pick. Looks like someone else actually got the Lost Vikings. Oh my god. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Anyways, I just joined a group called Aram, and I've been playing a couple of matches with these guys. They're really, really awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just simply play a relatively standard game here where I'll try and do some damage. But either way, basically this is a single lane map. There's no backing on this map, so I can't actually activate my B button to get back in towards the main, uh, the main entrance of our, you know, Hall of Storms. I won't actually be able to go back there. We do have one of these, like, healing uh, wells, but obviously, usually, they get taken out rather quickly at the beginning of the map. Uh, but either way, yeah... Uh <laughs> There's only a single lane, obviously. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is that we do have these things right here. Oh my god. One important thing to keep in mind is that we do have uh, healing globes. And the healing globes is where the fights oftentimes happen constantly. Because basically they are um, available for either team. Basically they respawn every 45 seconds. You can see on the minimap which ones are available with like a little blue, bluish color. To see when they are available. And um, basically, um, basically they can be used by either team. And oftentimes uh, those are like the only way you can actually heal off later on. Uh, heal up later on. He says area of effect is cheating. I, I totally agree with him. No, obviously it's not. I actually had some people get really upset at me at using a mule in a previous game. Didn't mean to do that, but I mean, hey, kind of had to. All right, so far so good though. So far we're doing really well. All right. Anyways, we're playing Sylvanas here. And uh, Sylvanas obviously one of the greatest heroes in this specific scenario, because I'm going to be able to disable towers like no tomorrow. I mean, we're absolutely rolling over them so far, and just a couple of seconds into the game, we're already starting to take out their towers. Now, I really like the fact that they've introduced this into the game, because I personally, like, ever since, like, MoMA games have been a thing, right? I've personally always really enjoyed playing all random moment. I think it's an awesome, awesome way to play, in particular if you have friends. I know that's sort of like one of those requirements, I guess. But even if you don't have friends, it's, you know, <laughs> it's still just, I know, I'm just kidding. But it's like one of the best ways to be playing a MOBA, honestly, in my opinion. There's so many great ways you can go ahead and play it. Ugh. And um, as long as you like, uh, as long as you like pay close attention to what's going on, it can be like a massive, massive clusterfuck of just constant, constant engagements. Now, I'm going to go ahead here and go with With the Wind. Just because I do need a little bit of range. We have it to run there on the team. It looks like uh, if you go all random as well, it is going to random you with one warrior, like a warrior tank and then like one support healer type hero. Um, and then a bunch of damage dealers and a specialist. Um, so, you know, it's it's looking... Actually, we got two specialists on this case, in this case right now, right? Sylvan is technically also a specialist. Either way, though, I don't know the exact specifics. But it is a relatively, um, it's a relatively straightforward uh, map most of the time, at least. Now, I'm going to have to get out of here. Alright, let's go. Grab it, sir. They do spread to friends as well. You can see uh, the healing gloves don't actually even do that much. But I think this is a great, great addition. I mean, oftentimes in other MOBAs, right, you would play just on, like, the single map that is available because that's the only thing you got. <gasps> wow, he just dunked him. <laughs> the dunk. <laughs> um, Asmo Dunk is actually getting available very soon as well, which is like a skin available for him where he's just, like, dressed up as a, uh, as a basketball player. <laughs> uh, you can see though, like there's some really friendly banter going on here, even if it just got he just got killed, right? I find this really, really enjoyable. Like oftentimes in other MOBAs, like I was trying to say, you just basically go all random all mid and you don't like you're not allowed in any of the other lanes. Um, and obviously that that you know has some backdooring and whatnot that could potentially go really bad. Sadly, I do get taken out there by the Illidan player after being dragged backwards uh, by their um God, I forget the name really quickly, by their, um, the Haka. Uh, so sadly, sadly, we do get end up, uh, taken, or we do end up getting taken out there. But not without a fight, not without a fight. We've been doing a lot of damage for the team, even though we are a support, or like a specialist, we're doing rather well. 
Um, but, um, like, you can just simply go ahead and play this map, and it's a little more dynamic than just, like, one single lane, right? You have these little bushes, you have the healing globes that are really useful, um, and while the design is just basically taken from the good old Tomb of the Spider Queen, it's still, like, a really, really, you know, versatile way to play. Gotta be careful of not getting dunked again. Um, I know you can go for possession. I don't know how good possession is. I haven't actually picked that yet. I guess I'll use it. Basically, we can turn around a bunch of these minions. Go from there. Oh, looks like there's a fight going on over here. Didn't even see that. Basically, possession, instead of like being an ultimate, is now a level 7 talent, which is <laughs> kind of insane when you think about it. It used to be an ultimate, nobody would ever pick it. Um, but right now it's actually uh, it's actually pretty common. We also have a new ultimate in the game, by the way. That I haven't tied out either yet. Basically, it's this mind control thing. I don't know how it works, so I guess we'll, we'll figure out together. I've been dying to it plenty of times, though. It's really cool. Basically, what happens is uh, you take control of a certain enemy and um, you can move them towards like your own team to uh, to make sure that they get taken out. It's it's rather interesting. I guess we'll figure out how it works together. This may go horrible. Shouldn't really be testing out new things while recording videos, but either way. This is just for a fun match anyway, so we may as well give it a try. I do definitely need a little bit of healing though, so I'm gonna drink from the fountain. I haven't actually been drinking from the fountain all that often. Okay, I guess I'll grab this a little bit as well. There we go. As long as you're nearby, it is gonna spread to you. Just like all of the other... Uh, <gasps> whew, all of the other... Uh... Oh god, oh god, once again getting dragged. Really annoying. Getting out of there just barely in time. Gotta get into the battle, though. I'm busy possessing enemies here, but it's not really a priority. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, possession is now a much better talent. Like, look at how strong that all of a sudden is. So you can actually turn these lanes around rather quickly. Okay, coming in. Very nice. Very, very nice. We're almost level 10 already. This is really great for us. And look, we're picking up the, the, the uh, healing globes, not just for our own sake. But also to make sure that the enemies are not going to be able to grab it, right? If they grab it in their favor, that's obviously pretty bad for us, too. How is he not dead? I was going to say. Alright, mind control. I don't know how this works, though, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I can now move her back. I can move her back. That's how it works. Woo! Sweet! Mind control Lily successfully. Boom. Alright, let's get in. Let's get in. Disable those towers, disable whatever we can find. And I guess we'll take on, take on control as well of a couple of their minions. Very good, and we're pushing towards that gate. Now, there is a keep on either side of the map as well. I don't actually know if we're going to see any kind of catapults. I'm actually just going to grab it. I don't want them to have it. Okay. Oh, God. Ultimate time. They don't even have their ultimate yet, right? So... We're definitely in a very firm position right now in this game. I mean, we got uh, definitely uh, the luck of the draw here, I suppose, but we've also had some good teamwork, though. People are working together very nicely. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> he dunked way over us. Terrible dunk right there. Alright, looks like we're getting back. Waiting for the healing generator. Or the globe, I guess it is. It's not much of a generator. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Asserting control. Moving him backwards. Come on, guys, grab him. <laughs> Got Illidan there. Look how powerful that ultimate is. That is insane. Anyways, I love playing this map. Like, long story short. I hope I got the point across of what the goal of this map is. I feel like I'm all over the place with my commentary here. Uh, but it's awesome. It's really, really fun. It's straightforward. There's just one single lane. You have to try your very best to fight in that lane, and that is it. Basically, there's a couple of healing globes that will be activating every 45 seconds, and with that, you can heal up. Without it, there's no way of healing up because she can't go back. That's the basic uh, basic idea here. Now, you can go ahead and grab that as well. Um, Lost Vikings are actually a little far forward. Oh, man. Oh, man. Absolutely not. Not today. Oh, we do get silence, sadly. Okay, gotta go ahead here and, I don't know, life drain? Life drain seems like a good idea. Alright. 
Oh, nice. Good job, guys. The Vikings carry. <laughs> He's doing a good job, though. He actually is playing it really well. The Vikings OP. Either way, though, it looks like we may very well be able to pick up the game here. Gaining control. We got him. Obviously, also makes it impossible for him, for him to move. We're already hitting the core right now, only nine minutes into the game. I've actually had some very long matches as well in this mode. Well, very long, like 15 minute long. Rather than like, you know, I guess the normal is like 20 or so. In an actual match. But, um... Well, we aren't gonna be able to win just yet. But, um, like, if you have the PTR installed, I would highly recommend giving this a try. It's currently only available in the PTR. Um, once it obviously has gone through the PTR and, like, it's sufficiently test, or, uh, like, sufficiently tested, you can go ahead and, like, use this as well on the actual main game as soon as they introduce it. Once again, we're making a bit of a round here past the, uh, the, the generators of the globes, and I guess very shortly we're gonna be able to do some damage to them once again. Okay, very powerful here, very cool. All random on mid is really good though. I've always really enjoyed playing that. It's such a, a gimmicky way of playing, but I mean... Here we go. I got my ultimate available once more. Really powerful ultimate, by the way. Alright, no, no, no. We're just simply gonna end the game. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. Guess we can assert some more control here. La 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 la. <laughs> and go from there. So in total, we ended up doing quite a, sub a significant amount of siege damage as well as hero damage. But I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day, alright? Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.